Peg hole reamers aren't the same as a hardware store reamer. They're specialized tools that are made for instrument work because they have a two degree taper that matches the taper of friction pegs, like those used on ukuleles, old fashioned banjos, flamenco guitars, some mandolins, and in this case, a dulcimer. They're made of hardened steel with hollow ground cutting edges that are really sharp. Unlike utility reamers, these peg hole reamers have cutting blades on only one side and the other side is round. That rounded side keeps the cutter centered in the hole so when they ream a hole it stays truly round. Utility reamers have blades all around that will hog into the wood. The hardwood handle has a good shape to it and feels good in the hand when you turn. The standard reamer fits holes up to 3 8 for violins, violas, and flamenco guitars. The larger reamer reams holes up to about 5 8 for guitars and cellos or whatever hole you're trying to patch. The small reamer is perfect for this mandolin, for example. I need to enlarge the hole 17 thousandths, and that's not a lot. And here's a tip. As a depth stop, I measured and cut off a piece of rubber surgical tubing, and that lets me know right when I hit the face or the back, and that's time to stop. I'm not taking much off. Using a reamer is faster and more sure than trying to center a drill bit in an existing hole. And drill bits can wander and create out of round holes also. So I'll kiss in a little bit from the top and a little bit from the back and that'll leave me an hourglass shape that I'll file the center out with a small rat tail file. I use reamers for patching all sorts of holes. By reaming out a wallowed out jack hole or another small hole, it becomes truly round. So it's easier to fix using a round patch that really fits. Like on this old beat up Martin guitar that somebody punched holes through the back, I can ream to a size that fits plugs that I cut with a plug cutter. They're just super valuable tools in my shop and not just for violins and cellos.